Hey guys, so back from the bear hunt yesterday. Um, I actually just got back from the butcher I dropped off. Uh, I dropped my bear off to Uli at Sumas Meats there. So shout out to Uli. Um, if you're watching the video, I just about had everything on camera and I had a little bit of a technical malfunction. So right uh, as I was getting ready to take the shot, the uh, clip on my GoPro broke and dropped, which was almost detrimental because that's about the time he picked his head up and stared at me like, what was that? So uh, I didn't get the shot on camera, but uh, I did get some video footage of him before and then obviously once I tracked him down after the fact. Um, waiting to get some information back on him. I actually had an ear tag in, so I've uh, gotten a hold of the BC Conservation Officer Service uh, and I'm waiting to hear back. So hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get some information as to, you know, age and, you know, roughly where and when it was relocated from, obviously at some point. So um, yeah, I'll uh, pass that information along to you guys when I get it. Uh, while I'm at it, I also want to shout out um, Dimitri Despaccio. He was the winner of the Havlon Draw and Swag Pack uh, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think now. So I have, don't think I've made a video since. So shout out to Dimitri. Um, hopefully you're enjoying that stuff. And we really appreciate the support. So it's been uh, it's been awesome to have you guys help make the channel grow and, uh, and the support's been awesome. So I've bumped into a couple of you guys out in the woods and that's been super cool. I uh, actually ran into one of you guys yesterday um, before I was able to harvest this bear. So I want to say your name was Jason, we talked briefly, but uh, if you're if you're watching this man, uh, it worked out. So appreciate it and appreciate talking to you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get on with this video here. Um, we're gonna do another draw pretty quick here. I don't know what I'm gonna give away quite yet, but uh, I'll get it figured out. I'll let you guys know and give you an opportunity to get in on something more uh, before the spring bear season's over, hopefully. But uh, yeah, enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and again, appreciate the support. It's been awesome, and it's good meeting you guys out in the woods. So. Morning guys, it is just after 6 a.m. on May 13th, it's uh, Friday the 13th actually, um, that's a bit for bad, but um, I am on my way, I think I figured out my target bear for this year, uh, it's a big old color face bear, but he's in a bit of an awkward area to hunt, so I've been kind of pouring over topo maps and figuring boundaries and stuff out, and I think I've figured out kind of what I want to do, but it's... Uh, there's definitely not a lot of room to work with, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. But uh, we had a big weather front roll through last night. It just dumped. It was windy. It was gross. Um, and that's what we're looking at for the next two days as well. So we've got a little window here. Uh, I'm going to try and duck out. It's a Friday afternoon. Or, well, Friday morning right now. I'm going into Friday afternoon. So anybody who's an adult wasn't able to come with me, so I'm going solo. But... Um, yeah, I've got the bow with me. We're going to try and make it happen with the bow, and hopefully we can get the drop on him. So I will talk to you guys uh, once I'm up there, once I'm set up, and I've kind of got my plan figured out, and hopefully we can make this happen. my first hike of the morning. It's uh, just after 10 o'clock and found some decent areas but literally zero sign. So the, uh, the area that I thought uh, might wrap around the backside of where this bear is, <clears throat> it just doesn't look like they've worked into it yet. So there's just, there's so much food that it, uh, you know, until they exhaust one source, they're not really going to move until the rut kicks off. Uh, 
stalked in on uh, a pair of deer, so that was pretty cool. A little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine, you know, getting the full West Coast experience. Yeah. I'll keep digging around. I, uh, there's definitely bears in the area, so just a matter of hammering it down. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but uh, I think it's still, the odds are still good today, I think. How you doing? So, I ended up, after I didn't see any sign up where I wanted to uh, pop in earlier this morning, I made my way down into a different valley that I know. I figured it's probably greened up enough now up near the snow line here that uh, it could be productive. So, it, uh, it took me a while to get in here with the, uh, I wasn't really planning on coming back this far. So with the one ton suspension and that really rutted out washed out road it uh it took me the better part of two hours to work my way in here but uh from here i'm gonna hop on the uh the old pedal bike there and work my way in but um just a quick little psa um i had a guy that just drove in about 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago um clearly going into the back to hunt he's kind of not really wearing camo, but, you know, earth toned out with a big cooler in the back. So fine, whatever. I'm just off the main road here, so I, you know, it's not a secret valley. But then he stops 60 yards up, right about there. Gets out and glasses the block that I'm parked next to. So, I mean, he didn't stop to talk to me. No idea if I'm putting a stock on anything that might be down there since I'm getting my gear ready here. And you know keep driving don't stop in the block right next to the guy that's already doing something because you know i mean maybe there was a bear in there you could have blown it out of there and then you know then what or you're going to shoot the bear somebody else is getting ready to stalk in on like a little bit of etiquette goes a long way boys so if that was you do a little better next time not a huge deal but kind of a dink move right so anyways uh, I'm gonna get myself up into the back of the valley here. Uh, realistically, it's not gonna get productive till you know a little bit later in the afternoon. We are about quarter after one right now, so figure probably three, four-ish. It'll start to kind of get productive. So I want to be up where I want to be by then. But uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. And like I said, I still got a good feeling about tonight. So fingers crossed. Hopefully.
Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I was just working my way back out of here and I uh, happened to look on the left hand side of the road here on the way out and saw a little black face staring at me from the hillside. So stopped and kind of had a quick look at him, judged him up. It's not, uh, not quite what I was looking for, but uh, the freezer's fairly low and I do have two tags for this year. So I think uh, I wasn't going to be super picky, I decided. But of course, that's the uh, the terrain he's in. So I'm going to give him a few more minutes. I, I don't think he went far. I just uh, I couldn't get a good look on him after I after I shot. So just going to be on the safe side and give it a few minutes. Bugs are getting bad here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can track him down. And A little hard to tell, but uh, if you look kind of center screen right there, big point. He's, uh, I just found him. He's, oops, there's my finger. There he is right there. So, bear down, folks. I remember when I told you guys to make sure you think before you pull the trigger, because you're going to have to go get it from wherever it is. <laughs> ah, it's going to be a load of work.